All right, so we have iron reacting with oxygen gas. By the way, oxygen is the only gas, and it produces a solid ferric oxide. So if we have a certain amount of iron placed in a 6.98 liter container in an oxygen atmosphere, and 2.51 uh, is the, uh, is the um, pressure and a temperature of 125 Celsius, and then after five minutes, the pressure is 825 torr and the temperature is 98 degrees Celsius. So when it's telling us that there's a change in temperature and pressure, that's going to relate to our gas. So that means that oxygen is getting used up. So there's, there's less oxygen after five minutes. And that will then tell us how much iron was used, which then will tell us how much ferric oxide was produced. So the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out the initial moles of oxygen. And we're going to use PV over RT. It's going to give us those moles. So I've got 2.51 atmospheres. Again, only the oxygen is going to obey the gas laws. The iron is not. It's a solid. And I've got a 6.98 liter container. And R is 0.0821. And my temperature um, is 125 plus 273, so that's 398 Kelvin. All right, so the moles is 0.536 moles of O2, and that's initial. That's what was put in there before any reaction at all. Okay, so now I'm going to figure out the moles final, because it says that the... Um, the pressure and temperature changed, so that's going to give us some uh, new moles of oxygen, and that's uh, 825 torr over 760 torr. I'll just leave it like that and put it in my calculator, and it's the same volume, 6.98 liters. And it says that the temperature has dropped to 371 Kelvin. So after this reaction has gone after five minutes, I've got two, uh, 0.249 moles of oxygen. That's final. So I want to figure out how much oxygen was used. So I'm going to take the moles initial, and again, this is just oxygen, minus the moles uh, final, and that's going to give me the moles of oxygen that were used. So this is 0.536 moles. O2 minus 0.249 moles O2, and that's going to equal 0.287 moles O2. Now that number is critical because it's going to tell me, don't like that, it's going to tell me I'll just underline it then. It, it's going to tell me um, how many moles of iron and how many moles of ferric oxide were produced. So now what I'm going to do, if I can move up, is I'm going to start with my 0.287 moles of O2. I'm already in moles. And I'm going to go back up here to my equation, which I didn't balance, so I want to balance my equation, and it 
if I balance it, I see I've got four moles of iron, three moles of O2, gives us two moles of Fe2O3. So now I have my mole ratio, which is four moles of iron to three moles of oxygen. Now I'm going to figure out uh, the how many grams of iron just using the molar mass again it all comes from the moles of oxygen that were used that's the critical thing about solving these problems 21.4 grams of iron reacted okay now it says um, we're supposed to figure out how much is left. So I'm going to take 114.67 grams of iron. That was initial. I'm going to subtract 21.4 grams of iron. That's what's used. And that's going to equal 93.3 grams of iron. And that's what's left. Now it says how many grams of the oxide were formed. And I'm going to start with that same 0.287 moles of O2 that actually reacted. And that produced 2 moles of Fe2O3, ferric oxide, iron 3 oxide, for every 3 moles of O2. Again, that's from the balanced equation. And then molar mass, Fe2O3, is 159.69 grams. Fe2O3 for every one mole. And that equals 30.6 grams Fe2O3. So the bottom line is we had to figure out how many moles of O2 reacted then we could figure out moles of iron that reacted and how many moles and how many grams of that and also how many grams of Fe2O3 were formed.